when you sell online, uh, there's a concept of social proof. Part of the social proof is online reviews. This video is brought to you by EpiPies Academy. Because people don't, they come across your product, they don't know anything about you most of the time, they don't know anything about your product. So there's kind of this pseudo research okay, that they do. And part of the pseudo research is they look at your reviews. Now you can have a thousand fake reviews or, right, they won't know it. But they don't have a whole lot of great information to go on. So this is kind of the best information to really go on for people. And, mo and most consumers, they do look at reviews. Now, here's how you should get good reviews, okay? First of all, have a good, I mean, this is, feels funny, I mean, almost moot, but you should have a good product because no matter what techniques you might try later on, if you don't have a good product, you'll, you'll get tagged with bad reviews. And guess what? Any bad review, the person who added that bad review, they'll leave, they'll forget about it, but that bad review will continue to damage your product and, dec and work to decrease your sales for the lifetime of your product. Maybe it's 10 years from now, it will still be working against you. Okay? So you really have to make your customers happy because the customers aren't happy online. You know, if, if, you're, if you're selling on a platform where reviews matter, like if you're selling from your own website, if a person doesn't like it, they'll just, the, 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 the most damaging thing they can do is like to just go away. But if you're on Amazon, for example, and the person doesn't like it, they'll leave a bad review and that review will damage you. So if you're selling on a platform where reviews matter, um, where there are reviews, you better make sure your product is good. Okay. Okay. Once you're, once you make sure your product is good, you're not going to be getting the bad reviews. How are you going to get good reviews? Well, you certainly want to give copies if possible, give copies of your product to family, friends, business uh, contacts and say, Hey, try my product. If you like it, I appreciate a nice review. Okay. Some people won't, you know, they'll, they'll be like, I don't have time. Why are you making me do this? But some people who get it, they'll help you. Okay. And like this, you can get 10, 20, 30, 50 reviews, depending on your net, the size, the size of your network. And I mean, right away, it's kind of like, you know, in, in a sense, it's, it looks like fake reviews. I mean, they aren't like real customers, but you know, in a sense, they aren't fake reviews because you really gave it to people. You really gave your product to people. They, they looked at it, they sampled it, and they wrote a, re a review. So yes, they're helping you out, but they are, those are real reviews. So, and a lot of people do this. Um, and, and you're kind of going to have to do this because you'll see that reviews, um, good reviews, influence sales to go up. Bad reviews influence sales to go down. Um, reviews really matter. Um, and so certainly you want to get good reviews and whenever possible. If you have, if you have, um, it, and also it depends on the platform on which your product is on. Some platforms, um, they specifically say in their terms of service that you should not ask for good reviews. That's the case with, I think with Amazon, Amazon specifically says, don't ask for good reviews. So the way around it is like, don't ask for good reviews. Say, um, if you'd like, if you like it, please add a, please add a review. Okay. Um, you, you, there's nothing in that that says add a good review. So it's kind of a, a, the way around their terms of service. Um, but also, you know, just make sure that you're kind of within the terms of service of whatever platform you're selling on. Uh, Cause you certainly don't want to get banned or, you know, to be considered like using black hat tactics or anything like that. You don't want to risk these things. And so without specifically asking for nice reviews, if you have any customer, who you know for sure is like really happy with your product, right? Um, then that's the way you used to say, hey, oh, you see that they're happy, right? Would you mind adding a review to your, about your experience on our Amazon page or our, on our Yelp page, what, you know, whatever. I think Yelp also doesn't like you to ask about for reviews, but everybody asks for reviews. Um, so you see how that works, right? You have a happy customer, ask for a review, in a way that isn't fishy, right? Is within terms of service of whatever platform you're selling on, okay? And that's a way to get reviews when you launch, you get your network to give you reviews, 
and in an ongoing basis you have your happy customers to give you your reviews.